Okay, so I've been kind of working on the shapes really of only one half of my bull head. And in fact, if I hit Command R in Illustrator, just like in Photoshop, I can get um, rulers. And then if I use the large selection tool, I can bring guides in and I can find the halfway point just as a guide. And really all I have to do is design one half of this bull's head if I'm going for central symmetrical. And then I can cut that out, copy it, flip it, merge them together. Just like I'm going to be able to merge uh, this horn onto this head once I'm happy with it. Okay, but for right now, this horn is all pretty good except it's got it's too pointy there. So how can I get rid of that? I'm going to use the pen tool again, right? Hold down Command, click on the anchor, so I can select it and see if it has any handles, and it doesn't. So how do I get handles? I hold down Option, and I click it. Come on. And I drag. And then I can get curves onto it. And then I can use Command to bring those curves in a little bit and play with the curves. Different on each side until they're kind of the curve I want. And the placement I want. And it's just the illusion of being kind of perfectly smooth, right? You are making all those decisions. Okay, the other thing about the horn is this happens sometimes. Like I missed that point, right? So it jogged out to here. So I can do a delete the anchor point, but look what that did. And that's crazy looking. But actually, maybe I can use that to my advantage. Because what I want are two overlapping paths. So I have this path here, and I have this path here, and now they're overlapping. But before that, I'm just going to move just that anchor point. Not the whole thing, so I have to be right on the anchor to, to select it individually and move it out. Okay, so now I have two paths overlapping. This is probably my favorite tool in Illustrator. Because I cut these out individually. And now it's magic scissors time. This is one of my favorite tools in Illustrator. And it's a weird tool. And it's called the Pathfinder tool. So if you don't see it, it's right here for me. Go under Window and go to Pathfinder. And what, I, what I'm viewing is Essentials. You know, the default Essentials, you should basically see what I'm seeing here. So if you don't, you can go up to, to View, I'm sorry, to Window and say Workspace Essentials. Okay, so now with the Pathfinder tool, if I hold down Command and I select with, with the Large Selection tool, actually I have to hold down Shift, I'm sorry, to select both of them at once. I've selected both overlapping paths, right? Now I can use this first option within the Pathfinder to merge them together. So it's like magic scissors. Now those overlapping paths are all one path. So let me Command Z and show you the difference. This versus this. And this is what you want, right? You want one clean cutout. So it's like healing that paper together. And then that allows me to do things like this. To use the pen tool, hold down Command, click on an anchor point, and move it, and now it adjusts the horns as well, because they're all part of the same layer. And if you're a professional, you have to get really, really particular about all this stuff. But if you're just learning, try to be forgiving to yourself. It's hard to get it all looking good. Okay, so now I'm actually pretty happy. I'm just looking at the, the one side of this bull's face and seeing, okay, there's a little bit I might change here. Maybe move some of these anchor points around. So if you find that you're clicking on an anchor point and it's moving everything, it's because you have to click outside of it and then find the anchor point individually until it's white to be able to click it specifically.
And once it's white, you can click it specifically. Then I'm going to lock these anchors to my chosen guide, my midpoint, because that's where I'm going to flip the, the thing. Okay. And now I'm going to go up to the top, and that's already on it. Good. Okay, so now, how can I delete those other points? Well, I can use the pen tool again, right? And I just hover over them, and it will automatically delete these, these anchor points I don't need anymore. Because I have the half I, I want to use. And because I have those anchors right on my half line, I have to get rid of the handles. So I do that by holding Command and then dragging those handles right back to center. Right? And now, just for effect, because it's just transparent right now, I'm going to go back to transparency while it's selected. I'm going to make sure it's all selected and make it 100%. So I have my black shape. And now I'm going to do edit, copy, right? And then edit, paste. And I'm going to paste it in place. So this is different than then um, duplicate, but it's the same thing as Command-J, but do not do Command-J in Illustrator. You won't like what happens. So instead, it changes your viewing mode. So instead, I'm going to paste in place, which is Shift-Command-V, and that's too many steps. So I just always go to Edit, Paste in Place. And what that does is it gives me an exact duplicate in the same layer. That's a little confusing, so you see them there, right? Now this layer, if I use the drop-down, it has one path, it has the guide, and then it has another path. So I'm going to take my duplicate path, select that, and then I'm going to do Object, Transform, Reflect. This is like flip horizontal or vertical. And because Illustrator was by a different company than Adobe before, it has different language that they've kept. I actually, I want to flip it horizontal, right? But the way you do that is you flip it on a vertical axis at 90 degrees, like a mirror image. So that's why they added these little pictures. So I say, OK. And then I use the large move tool, and I can hold down Shift to lock it in place. And I line it up with my guide, just like that. And then I can turn off my guide just like I can in Photoshop with Command semicolon. But the problem is, it is still two shapes. I need them to be one shape. So how do I do that? Well, I select both of them. I use the Pathfinder tool, and I merge them together. And now it is just one shape. And it's a perfectly symmetrical shape. So I'm almost done with my logo. I'm happy with it. But you know what? It's digital. What's the big advantage of digital? I can make perfect duplicates. So. I'm going to take that whole layer, that's my black vector shape, and I'm going to copy it, Command C, and then I'm going to lock it, turn it off, make a new layer, which will now be green anchor points, and say edit, paste in place. Because now I want to play with it a little bit. I want to maybe hold down Option and squeeze it so it's a little bit narrower. Maybe I like that bull's head a little bit better. A little bit wider, right? So it's good to tweak things. And maybe I decide I like it right there. That's perfect. So now I might move from there. But I'm getting ahead of myself, right? Because I'm not finished with my bull's head. I still have to cut out these shapes. So to do that, I'm going to actually go back with Command Z until they are two paths before I merge them together. Okay? And now I'm going to take the one half of it. And I'm going to take its transparency back down to 50%. Excuse me. And now I see what I need to cut out. 
I have to cut out that little eye and the fork, half of the fork. And to do that, I'm going to lock this layer and I'm going to make those shapes on a new layer. So, and how do I do that? I do it the same way I've done it before with the pen tool. Start there, click here, pull it out for a curve. Hold down Option. Oops. Put up for a curve. Close it up there. Hold down Option to. Oh, I'll do that later. And then close it off so it's a closed path. Then hold down Option. Actually, I just want to drag in this handle. Maybe not all the way. Refine the shape. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, and now for the fork. And I'm going to turn this one off. Lock it just so I can see the, the fork as a whole. And then I'll cut it in half, right? And I'm going to plot an anchor point right on the guide. And go out here, curve it a little bit. You can hold down shift for a perfect curve if you want, but I don't need that. Your curve it in a little bit. You can get pretty elegant if I want to. Here, 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 here. Actually, here, and then close it up. Okay, so I have a rough shape that now I can modify by using the option and command tools. I tend to try to make everything kind of sharp edged first, like that. And then I might use the large selection tool and just squeeze it in for the handle part since that's gonna get doubled up. And now use the small selection tool, drag it out, drag it out. And now hold down option or hold use the pen tool and hold down option to round out the corners I want to round. In some ways I have an easier time doing that. Then rounding them out as I draw. Just gives me more options this way. So I'm doing a lot with that pin tool. It's not my favorite tool in Illustrator, but it's definitely essential. Okay. So I'm curious if this is going to work. All right, so now I have these shapes. They're both in the same layer. They're both green. I'm going to select them both. And then I'm going to unlock the layer underneath. And that layer underneath, and just to show you, while they're still, while they're both selected, I'm going to make them white, just so you can see for a second. Okay. And then I'm going to turn on the layer behind and take its open.